What's going on everybody? It's your boy Inside Eleven and right now man we're talking about getting your life purpose together because the problem is when you don't have a life purpose in life you're going to find yourself swinging from tree to tree like a goddamn monkey and all that is an allegory is you're going to be going from to that tree you're going to go to that bush which just basically means you're going to go to that place you're going to go to that person you're going to go to that thing so you're going to find yourself moving from you know program to program or you might be in university or college. You might find yourself switching from, you know, educational program to other educational programs. Because really, the deciding factor was never, you know, what you loved or what loved you. The deciding factor was how much were you going to get paid? Um, are you going to be able to go to parties? Is you going to have time to hang out with the boys? Things, things of that nature. See, the things that we worry about are, you know, non-relevant to purpose. Purpose is something internal. Something purpose is something that's, you know, eternal and it stays with you forever and doesn't leave you anywhere. So you see, something actually likes you. That's right, I said it. Something likes you. Something loves you. But you are not aware of it. That's the that's what that's what that's what blows my mind every single day. See there's something that you're doing from day to day, from moment to moment from year to year, from month to month, that has so much value, that has so much power, that can receive so much respect, that, that you know that, that God is willing to give you so much energy for. God is willing to even replenish your energy source because God understands that, hey, look, this is a person that knows themselves. This is a person who understands the gifts, the talents that have placed in them. This is a person who understands how to separate themselves from the world and understands how to go back to the source, which is God. And you are an individual expression of that source. And as an individual expression of that source, you are entitled to an inheritance of that source's power. Now, none of us is God. We are all individual mini representations. When you look at the night sky and you see the stars hanging out amongst the other stars, hanging out with, you know, their friends and their family and all that great stuff with all the other attributes and characteristics, just like that, there's so many purposes there's so many thoughts there's so many feelings but you have to be willing uh, you have to be able to you know select and deselect the flow of thoughts and feelings because right now some of you guys might still you know need your mother and father's opinion now with all dear dear respect I love my mother and father however my mother and father do not know me more than I know myself because I have spent so much time in this flesh suit I have spent so much time doing my design unknowingly. And so, with that being said, you need to actually tune in and begin to examine yourself very, very, very carefully. Because it's not a matter of, you know, of you, know, you having this grand purpose. Like, you're going to walk into the throne room, which you will walk into the throne room because you are already designed and destined to be the king of kings when it comes to your arena. Your category of how you compete with things. But whenever you lose sight of your purpose, you know, there's a lot of things that make a man or make a woman lose sight of their purpose. You know, that can be an organization, that can be a person, that can be a place, that can be a thing. It might be, you know, your it might be your pecker. For girls, it might be your punani. What we need to what we need to understand is moving forward is that these are just tools, these are just energy signatures that we use and operate in our lives daily. Now we are not those energy signatures, but we may use those energy signatures to our everyday advantage. So what do I mean by that? Now, you know, I am not air. I breathe in, in and out air. But I use that to obviously sustain myself, and I use the oxygen to my advantage. So you, ha you can have the ability to harness the chi, the prana, the pneuma, and the air. And that can affect your blood, but you oxygenating your blood more and more. Now, I walk on the ground. I am not the ground, but I use the ground to, you know, construct practical buildings. You might use the ground to you know start building bricks and start layering bricks and you can also view this from a mental perspective where you start layering bricks mentally you know will smith had a, had a very 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 powerful coat but it was you know if you put a brick every single day eventually you will have a wall and then eventually you will have a castle and then eventually you will have a kingdom and then eventually you will be an heir to your own throne so what does that mean a lot of us don't spend enough time in our own attributes and our own characteristics or or 
You may be spending a lot of time using your own attributes, your own characteristics for other people's success, for other people's health, for other people's wealth, and for other people's wisdom. But little do you know that God has already given you everything you need for life and godliness. Because God doesn't need you to go out there or even watch this video to be reminded of yourself. Because 24-7, 365, God is creating a situation in your life for you to examine so you can remember your prior existence with the Father. Before we, before we fell from grace, before we followed Lucifer and descended from our heavenly throne, because you had a crown, you had a crown that wasn't unlike any other crown. And this crown was a signature energy. It was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was signifying, it was your insignia in the heavens. And this crown is unique to you. See, there's people, just like your brothers and sisters in the stars and whatnot, that are near you, that are your neighbors, that also have those similar attributes and characteristics as you. And when you simply go out and you be yourself, and you choose, you know, to honor yourself over honoring, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken, over honoring, you know, Harvard and Yale. Now, I'm sure Harvard and, Harvard and Yale are great, but any education system, any intellectual property has simply been written by a man. And you and I are both men. You and I, you know, you, you, you might be a female, a wonderful female at that. So why would we give up our godly, our heavenly power, our heavenly throne, our righteous throne for somebody else's design, for somebody else's system, for somebody else's organization, and things like that. Now, it's okay to spend time in an organization. It's okay to spend time with associations that you like. But you see, these things have to be done the right way. Because a lot of the times, when we talk about the housing system and things like that, especially when we deal with the area of associations, you might be spending your time with associations that are not right for you. See, the only reason these bloodlines, the shadow government, and all these people are able to rule the world is because they spend the right time with their associations, which is their, the other groups, the different factions of the government that they come together to rule the world with. So you must choose the right associations. You must choose the right value. You must have the right desires to wake you right out of bed in the morning. Because if you don't choose the right things that are for you, you're going to automatically select what the world has chosen for you. Automatically just based on other people, places, and things, choosing that idea, thought, and feeling, and based on you seeing that, you're going to be like, okay, this must be just, this, this just must be what the world uh, is on about. And you're going to assume automatically, this just must be the way the world is, and this is just the human nature and things like that. Well, that's just incorrect. Because whenever you have someone who's distinguishable, whenever you have someone that's, uh, you know, that's just different, that stands out, they, 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 they don't follow the ways of the world. They tend to do something unique. They tend to, you know, they tend to um, do things from a different uh, perspective, you know. Because the millionaire and the non-millionaire obviously have two complete different mindsets. And all a millionaire is, is a high-functioning, high-performance person. And that person understands their purpose. That person, ha person has a reason to wake up in the morning. But that person has also made sacrifices. And that person is also willing to do what the average person is not willing to do. See, the non-millionaire doesn't like to wake up in the bed out of the morning. Doesn't have a purpose. The non-millionaire doesn't have a, a diet. It doesn't, they, don't, they don't plan out their health. They have their health planned out for them. The non-millionaire doesn't have their wealth planned out for them. They, 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 go, they go get a credit card. They go get a mortgage. And mortgage, actually, in French, really just means the death penalty. So what you're really saying is you're going to go in a mort and you're going to age like fine wine. Now, you can do that, and there's nothing wrong with mortgages. However, let's not get it twisted. Whenever you don't do something that's purpose-based or purpose... Now, now, look. When I got this car, for example, I didn't get this car for a purpose. I got this car because I needed to go around, to get around for my job and things like that. So, you know, I wasn't think I wasn't in the in the space to negotiate the contract and I wasn't in the space to, you know, see things uh, that the non-millionaire, uh, uh, that a millionaire would have done. See, if I had had that mentality, if I had had that disposition, I would have approached it differently. See, now I approach my purpose differently. See, now I approach my wealth differently. Now I approach, I approach my relationships and my relationship with myself differently. All because I understand that changes have to be made or changes will be made for me. And I will just call that fate and destiny. Like how Carl Jung used to say it. Carl Jung used to say it pretty well. You know, if you, if you don't choose your fate, he said something similar along these lines. If you don't choose your fate, if you don't choose uh, your destiny, 
you will subconsciously call whatever happened to you fate. And you and, and whatever denominations you're under, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Catholic, whether you, whether you're a Jew, a Hindu, you know, you're going to blame something out there instead of blaming yourself. All because the theology has introduced you into a way of thinking that you need to give up your life, your time, your energy into something that truly doesn't matter at the end of the day. See, love loves you. Hate hates you. But it's also just a matter of you choosing these things. See, you choose to hate yourself. You choose to love yourselves. These are just, these are just mere chemicals at our command. And that's all really there is to it. See, you have to make a choice. You have to choose carefully what to observe. Because whenever you choose not to observe the reality that you want, you also choose to decouple from the mentality that you need to be in to create your wealth, health, wisdom, and relationship automatically. Because you're going to give yourself up in some way, shape, or form for the world. Because believe me, don't even believe me, believe yourself. And look at your own life experiences. Look at all the different areas in your life, houses, mansions, you know, the Bible tells us in, in, my father's, in my father's house, in my father's house, there are many mansions. We're talking about the different sectors of the sky, which represents different parts of the self, which is just the organs that represent uh, your, the, the, the heavenly functions and the heavenly bodies. Now, we carry the, those out externally in attributes and characteristics. So, you know, when we talk about Virgo, your sixth house, and things like that, you might be doing schedules and routines and patterns in areas that don't help you or your other houses you know prosper forward so you, know, you might be doing patterns and routines and schedules going to church you know setting up the chairs you might be going to the mosque you might be you know preparing for a uh, preparing for your islamic educational speech and things like that and there's, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as that's done for purpose on uh, on a purpose if you're practicing if you're there to practice your attribute and characteristic it might be cool but you know you don't really need to do that either because you know, your attribute and characteristic is following you around everywhere. But that is also your curse that's following you around everywhere. See, everything really is just in reverse. And now, let me, let me repeat that again in case you didn't hear it the first time. Everything that we do really is in reverse. We all should be wealthy, but we're all, we all actually subconsciously want to be poor. Because we want to give our power to somebody else. And because we don't understand how to reverse the DNA. And how to reverse our negative attributes into beneficial attributes that can lead you into your own health, that can lead you back to being wise, that can lead you back to being in a great relationship with yourself. And that's what matters at the end of the day, because wealth, you should, wealth is just, you know, it should be, it should be your right to be wealthy. It should be your right to harness the resources of the land. It should be your right to harness the abilities that God has entrusted you with in your mind. But most of us, unfortunately or fortunately, don't want to take responsibility for what God has given us. So we give up our power to somebody else and we say, okay, I'm supposed to do this for somebody else. Don't you know that person, that place, that thing that's calling you all the time, already sees you as like, wow, look at that little Johnny doesn't know what they're capable of. Okay, well, if little Johnny doesn't know what they're capable of, let me call little Johnny and let me bring them here to where I'm at and let them have them serve me AKA their devil, you know, because really they just want you, they just want you to, you know, add your characteristic and attribute to whatever they're doing. And as long as, you, as long as you're doing it within the right association, as long as you do, you do that amongst your brothers and sisters, your vibrational brothers and sisters, it's, it's, it's always going to be a pleasure. It's always going to be an honor. But whenever you do that with non-vibrational brothers and sisters, you, you want to bring disgrace upon your name, upon your godly, heavenly name. So, you know, a lot of people don't know where to start. A lot of people don't know where to look. And that might be a reason why, and that's the reason why you're probably watching this video. So I'm gonna make you an offer as well. I would highly, highly suggest and highly, highly recommend you to take an initiative, to take a first step upon yourself towards your goal by going to the link tree below, making that payment of $200 so you can receive that seven hour audio series from my good friend, W.E. Rogers, because he's gonna be discussing the principles that you're going to need to live within the kingdom. Because the Bible in Egypt and all these old books, they inform us and they inform us. And that's why I'm here to inform you that the kingdom of heaven is within. The kingdom of heaven is not going to be somewhere external out there. 
So whenever you learn yourself, because you know Jesus, he disappeared for 13, 15 years. And then he came, and when he came back, they were like, hey, the carpets, the carpets were like, hey yo, ain't that the carpenter's son? Where'd he get his authority from, yo? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Where does Justin Trudeau get his authority from? Where does Joe Biden get his authority from? Now they use the authority of the world of the devil. I'm trying to help you use the authority of the word of God that already exists within you by reminding you of your prior existence with the source. So you need to go to the link tree below. You need to make that payment of $200 so you can receive that seven hour audio series entitled Kingdom Living. So you can start understanding how to live with the kingdom. And I can also, I would also, also highly recommend you to make another payment for one of the reports options that I have available so I can begin to assist you in identifying the attributes and characteristics that God has already placed in you, which are 24-7, 365, active and alive through you. You might not be aware of it, but it exists. It's already in you and you're already doing it. There's no, if you have a birthday, if you have a birthday, now, if, any, if you don't, if you don't have a birthday, okay, this, this video might not be for you, I don't know, if you don't have a, now look, everything in existence has a birthday. That, that tree had a birthday, this earth had a birthday, whether it's on the subatomic level or the practical level, you know, the condensed, solidified level, everything had a birthday, except for this source that we're all trying to understand, the source of life, the source of all things. So if you know that you have a birthday, then I promise you that God has already placed everything and something inside of you that's powerful, abundant, beyond your wildest dreams, beyond your imagination. But because you grew up with in certain geographical locations, certain families, you were hanging out with some certain friends, you were made to belittle yourself. You were made to look down upon yourself. I will not have you no longer any doing that no more. I will have you no longer doing that. This is why it's very important for you to sign up for the program and begin to make life-changing choices for yourself. When you do these life choices, change, when you take this action and you do these life-changing actions for yourself, you're going to be also changing everybody's life. So people are going to look at you are going to be like, damn, why is he not like that no more? Why is she not like that no more? Well, it's because you made a change. And as we, when we observe the universe, everything makes a change on a subatomic level. So I'm inviting you to make a change on the subatomic level. And you know, I'm infinitely going to see you guys on the next video. You better believe it.